and welcome to Beth's Kitchen and Garden. Today I'm going to do a quick harvest video to show you what um, what plants are producing and hopefully we'll get the first pick of our peas, our broad beans and our potatoes today. So um, let's go and have a look around and see what's available. I've already harvested some strawberries and onions but I wanted to show you the peas I'm going to pick because um, some of you may remember that I planted these in this uh, 30 litre tub uh, back in March time when I couldn't plant them out because it was too um, cold to plant out the peas and um, they've done really well I didn't know how well they would do in this um, 30 litre pot but we have got quite a bit of peas so I'll get on and pick them and um, we'll put them all together in the harvest and see what we've got. The next veg that's, um, that's for harvesting is this broccoli. Now this broccoli is, um, well the variety is broccoli de Sicio, possibly. Um, let's not linger on how to pronounce it. And it um, it's meant to produce a sort of 10 centimetre head and I would say that's probably about 10 centimetres and it's not uniform as you can see it's um, you know it's, it's not like one that's really close together but you get lots of little harvests afterwards so I'm going to take the top off this one and probably the top off this one as well and then leave the side shoots to grow on. And then after that, I'm going to harvest some broad beans, the first of the broad beans. So they feel ready for picking now. So we should get a good crop of these. These ones are Grano Violetta, but there are some Bunyard's exhibition in, in amongst them. But the ones that are ready now will be um, Grano Violetto because they were overwintered. So that's why they are ready first. I also have this Chinese kale that's ready for picking too, which is kind of, um, well, I think it's probably heading to seed now. So it will probably come out soon and I'll, I'll put some beans in here instead. And um, I was debating whether to take out some of this kohlrabi it does look a decent size but I think I might just leave it for a little bit longer to see how much bigger it can grow on to the potatoes now some of these first earlies have started to flower those ones are called foremost and these ones here are the swift now swift can be ready within about 60 days and it's been about 60 days since I planted them. So I'm just curious to have a, a look and see what's occurring underneath. And I've also got this volunteer potato here and this volunteer potato here. So I'm not expecting much from here, but this looks a good sized plant, but I kind of want to get it out now because um, I want the tomatoes to grow on behind it. So. I don't want to risk disturbing the roots of that tomato plant later on in the season. So I'm going to grab that one out now. I'm pretty sure that I had charlottes here last year. So I'm sure that's a charlotte, a rogue charlotte potato. So I'll get you on the tripod to reveal this one and to reveal the first two here, I reckon. Well, for volunteer potatoes, I'm seeing three, four good sized ones, so that's good. You always think you've got them, don't you? And then they turn out that you haven't got them at all. 
I mean, you always think you've got all the potatoes out, is what I'm rambling on about. deep down that one I knew there was, it's quite deep. I've obviously mulched this a lot. Because I don't tend to plant them that deep. But does it explain why it self seeded itself, I suppose? Right, I think I think we'll leave it there. So that, honestly, that is better than I've had from some pots some years, honestly. Good gosh, right. I'll get the other one out and um, I'll show you what I've got afterwards. into one coming here's this week's harvest we've got a good amount of broad beans we've got the chinese kale we've got the broccoli that i thought was normal broccoli but turns out to be 
in between uh, like purple sprout and broccoli uh, and broccoli that forms a head. Some Lola Rossa lettuce, three uh, onion, well spring onions, onions, a few strawberries, a taste of peas and the potatoes. So this was the small potato, um, the, the small plant which was growing an enormous potato as you can see and then two little ones. Then this was the self-seeded, you know, volunteer one, which um, I'm really pleased with that. Charlotte's are usually a very good, reliable crop and they, they tend to do uh, produce good sized potatoes as well. And then these are Swifts, which are also a good sized potato. This is from two plants and this is from one plant. So I'm really happy with them. Well, I'm really pleased with our potato harvest. Anyone who's watched me for a long time knows how absolutely rubbish I am at potato growing. So for me, that was a really, really good result. We've got um, a good amount of food there. So I, I'm really pleased about that. Um, and that's it for me for today. Thank you for watching. And um, all I can say, I'll put my hat down. All I can say about my harvest today is lovely job and take care everybody and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.